I'm here with Gudrun Malperk, and I'm so excited to hear about her journey because she is one of those people who is multi-passionate and is following many of her passion successfully. So I'm excited to hear more about Gudrun. Welcome on the show. Hello, Sigmund. Thank you very much for having me on the show and welcome to you and everybody. So let, uh, let's take us back before you uh, started your journey. Were you always an entrepreneur or is this more of a recent adventure? Oh, it's, it's completely recent. No, no, I have been an official for nearly all my life and my passion was dancing. So I did dancing for 30 years as a hobby. And as uh, from September, then I'm an entrepreneur. So it's completely recent, yes. Yes, you took a drastic decision recently. What led you to take such a drastic decision? Oh, I did this uh, Samba Summer School in July. Yeah. And uh, this was my very first online course. And it went very well. And before that, I um, think I did not trust myself that I can help uh, people. Uh, like, like I had a lot of people in this course and I got uh, very nice feedback, very nice testimonials. And I feel I just um, needed this to, to believe in myself and to mm. be able to say, okay, okay. Okay, I can I can make a, yeah I make a living out of this yes yes but you also had a special situation with your employer which meant yes, yes. can you tell us more about that yes this was uh, I have to say the course I was teaching was about the magic to be a woman so all about the magic so I got already with this course in some sort of magic mood I don't know and. I got uh, an email from my employer where I had always to ask if I have the right to do uh, my passion, to give the courses and so. And I got an email where they, he was saying, no, you don't have this right because there is a rule. If you work part time, part time, you cannot do this any longer. So I had the decision to do, what do I do now? Go up uh, full time working then. I will not have any time for my passion. Stop my passion, which is not a question, <laughs> or, or keep my, uh, my work. So this is what I decided. I, I phoned my, my boss and said, listen, this is what it is. You know me. I cannot survive without dancing and, and, and teaching. Yeah. So I would like to leave my job in about three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And it was because you had created an online course that you felt you were on the right track. You started to believe that this would work for you. Yes, my uh, my dream had been to create uh, something online because I wanted to have the freedom to work from everywhere. I love traveling. And also I'm here in Belgium and my parents are in Germany and I have very small time to go and see them because of the holiday uh, I had to, when, I, when I'm working, I had to take a holiday and coordinate with my colleagues. So yes, now uh, this, online business this is this course i had in uh, july actually i was doing it from my holidays i was in corsica i couldn't believe those if you had not pushed me <laughs> i could not couldn't believe that this was possible and i did it all with my intuition and and people just loved it so yes this uh, made uh, made me think that i can now go all in for this yes yes and you ran the course from your holiday did how did that work Oh, I, I can tell you this was really funny. I was camping, yes, and I had so I, I gave my I teach my modules every Monday morning. Yeah. So everybody was sleeping in the camping. I went uh, at seven o'clock, uh, and I was I had already thought of course what I would say, yeah. and uh, the structure of what I would say. And then I tried to find a spot somewhere in the camping where nobody was. So it was somewhere in the fields. <laughs> really funny I put my little uh, phone there and then I teach I even teach movement so it was really uh, was fantastic yeah just over Facebook live inside a Facebook group yes it was really easy and then uh, what I told I think people also liked it because I took them into my holidays with me when I did the questions and answers one time I was sitting in my caravan and <laughs> it was but I, I told them, listen, the content is the same, but uh, as this is my very first online course, I'm in holiday. Uh, so, yeah, but they loved it really. And it also illuminated completely my holiday. Uh, during night, I was sitting there in my, in my telephone watching what they would 
uh, post, they posted videos of them dancing. <laughs> it was, yeah, it illuminated my holiday. It was such a beautiful feeling. It was perfect. So I thought, this is it. This is, what, this is how I want to live. Mm -hmm. This is how you want to live. Isn't that amazing that just in a matter of a few weeks, you, you saw how your life could look like? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And, and yeah, and when I took this decision to leave, to leave my work, uh, then it got even more and more clearer because um, the freedom is there, but also, also the responsibility of having my own business and structuring this I wanted to be. And now what happens now is that a lot of my, form of my colleagues come and say, can I talk to you? How do you do this? Because... I think a lot of people dream of it and they think it's not possible. So even after 32 years of being an official, <laughs> I, I see that it is possible. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm already very inspiring. I, I received a yesterday an email from somebody said, I don't know you very much, but you are so inspiring. I said, okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. Because most people don't make their dreams come true, which is, which I find a very sad fact. Uh, but when, when I see someone like yourself, uh, of course, uh, that's inspiring inside our Samba community and beyond, then that's why I bring you here on the show. And I know you're just fresh in your entrepreneurial journey, but it's been so transformational and so inspiring. So I wanted to hear more. And I think that's uh, because we want to inspire more people to say, this is possible. And if you can decide something like this within a matter of a few weeks, I think anything is possible. Yes, and what I have to say is that I'm telling everybody that it is very, very important to have help, to have a mentor, have a coach, because it's not so much only about the technique and everything you can learn perhaps by yourself online. It's about having a person uh, take your hand and, and lift you up, give you, give you the possibility of, uh, of believing in yourself. And also the community, what I uh, thought is very important to lift each other up and see also the successes and the problems of the others. Because very often I thought, am I just so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and if I see that others have the same struggle and um, yeah, then it is also important to have the right community. In your community, I found dancers, healers, coaches, and very often, uh, it was only business coaches who I found. And I, I could not relate to that. I needed really to see that others can also make a living out of it to believe it. And, and, and also, yeah, it was really fantastic. And it's still really very fantastic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's important. You know, you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. But you need to see someone who is doing something similar to believe it's possible for you. Yes. And yeah. also, what I always had with, as I was a, I'm a dance teacher for Oriental Dance, yes, and uh, what I always did, and I think this is very important, to have a teacher who is high up there, and as you, for me, you are high up there, <laughs> but even for, for everything I did uh, in my life, I choose somebody who was so high up, normally I would like think like uh, yeah it's, 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 it's not I will never get there but then I, I get inspired and I think this is a very very important uh, it's important yeah 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 it's very right I think uh, we have to be careful not putting people on pedestals of course uh, yeah. but uh, I have always uh, had the mantra to have two role models so for instance Oprah she's far far away too far away and then someone who is close someone who is just two three steps ahead Ah, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And that's probably what you have found within the community as well. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you've created your first online course, which was a major success, uh, lots of inspiration with your uh, clients, but also outside. People are inspired how you took uh, magic of a woman, the magic of being one. You also have some other courses. You also do belly dancing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I, as I said, I have been belly dancing, have been a very successful belly dance teacher for uh, more than 30 years here in Belgium. There were no belly dance classes before me, like just two or three. And now you have belly dance all over the place. So I'm, I'm, I'm like a sort of grandmother <laughs> for them. Yes, and I started an online belly dance class this month. And because I had so many uh, former students, also friends and so on, they wanted to learn with me. Mm -hmm. And this is 
the only only way I can reach them, and it's really it's really great because uh, we are together in this uh, belly dance online class and having a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I would not think that this is possible, but it is. And um, I learned with you how to structure it so people learn what they have to learn and uh, share. Yeah, we have yeah. like a little choreography at the end where they dance, and I can teach them then. Yeah. And another thing I do uh, is working on the purification of the body, where we uh, really work on with um, how do we eat, look at this, and how do we uh, think, have the purification of ourselves, but also of our thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very important. It's not only working uh, with uh, movement, but really also see how do you think, how do you, what do you eat and drink and being conscious about this. Yeah. It's fabulous. Uh, you know, you have so many passions, but you're somehow able to bring them all together. Uh, what do you see happening for yourself? Let's say 12 months from now, how do you envision your life and business then? Uh, what I see is that I will still have my offline dance classes mm -hmm. um, and uh, because I love getting out there and work with people face to face. But uh, most of my uh, business will be online so I can reach a lot of people. And what I see is that I will have, uh, we'll run these courses several times a year. And then also I would very much, oh, I already uh, launched it, I have a little group coaching program where I can learn, uh, work with very motivated people of smaller groups and help them more individually and in a more intense way. And if they, uh, when there is a small group, then they can connect to each other also completely differently than in a big group. So yeah. this is what I see. What I also, I don't know if it will happen next year, but people already asked me about it to organize a retreat where we can all come together on a very special place and then stay one week uh, with each other and learn how to, yeah, and go to school in, uh, in the magic of being a woman and everything you can learn. Yeah. That sounds fabulous, Gudrun. Thank you for sharing your vision with us. I know you have inspired several people listening to this podcast. And I wish you all best for your business journey. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Sigrun, for having me. And uh, yeah, it was really a pleasure for me to talk to you. Thank you. So nice. <laughs>